Yo, welcome back, Guillaume here. Today, I'll continue working on the simple image processor and we'll do only one thing, clean up the code. Let's get to it. So first thing first, what I want to do is show you the enable explicit option. So let me write it, enable explicit, what is it? Well, simple, in basic, in pure basic, you don't have to declare variables. You just can write a variable name like this, file path, and uh, the, the variable is automatically declared. But if you want to reuse this variable somewhere else, and you, uh, you, you make a syntax error, for example, you, you hit a file with, I don't know, a Y or file path without the H or whatever, it will recreate another variable. So the enable explicit, it's just to tell you that you have to declare all variables uh, explicitly. If I run the program now, it will fail because first variable here should be declared. So to declare variable, you need to uh, use the define keyword, define.s to tell that you are defining a string define.s file path and then if I hit a 5 again it will fail at another uh, function and you go on defining variables like this here we can just choose if you want to get cleaner to just replace or inline the variables here select event menu and directly it's going to call the event menu to get uh, the result. So you don't have to use a variable for that. What other variable do we have here? Um, same thing we could say here wait window event directly without using any variables and even to be more readable you can directly go repeat colon until window wait window event equals pb event close window so that's how you use the enable explicit. Now we have defined all our variables or remove them. The program works. Second step is removing all those magic numbers, those IDs, 0, 0, 1. We don't know what we're talking about. There are a lot of zeros everywhere in the code. So let's remove also commented code. So to do so, we use enumerations. Enumeration and enumeration and in between you put constants with a pound sign like this so for example we use the uh, main window or we can just call the enumeration window and uh, main window you can just say window I'd rather say window underscore main and I can replace this everywhere we have uh, the window ID so open window no I did not copy copy um, here create menu I think it's the window ID here then menu item no here at shortcut, shortcut, that's the window in the shortcut, yes, here, here, window main, window main, image gadget, that's the gadget ID, image ID, so okay, bind event, wait, 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 then when we open here the load image, it's the image ID, and the set gadget state, it's the gadget ID, so that should work as well, let's try open an image to see if it works it does work looks fine to me okay and then you do the same for uh, for example the menu items so we can create an enumeration menu and within two constants okay so uh, I can call it MW for main window menu file open we have to go to the uh, down to the menu item and same for the menu 
file quit uh, menu item so we can replace that so open image no but here see so the menu open here zero replaced by the menu menu file open uh, menu item here okay where else I don't think there is another so here yes we raise this one and same for the file quit case one here menu item one here and in my shortcut I replace the menu file quit quick try file open works file quit works okay what else for example the image is a zero so we can here we don't have to use an enumeration for the window if there is only one element in the enumeration we could just use a constant but here I'm thinking that maybe we'll have uh, several windows at the end of the application so I want to keep an enumeration with only one um, element here image so all my image loaded in memory image main and I will use this as the image ID but it's only used here and here gadgets okay same thing we can create an enumeration called let's call it gadget so if we plan to have many windows just like the menu I'm going to call it MW gadget for example uh, main image okay so this image gadget is this one the set gadget state it's image gadget it's this one as well and that is it okay f5 works open works file quit everything looks good so we have we have removed most of our magic numbers what we could do as well is use some constants like initial width initial height so 480 and 640 so if you want to change yeah let's use it first in the instead of 640 I can use initial width and instead of okay even here the gadget at the same size no uh, here I need to say initial width okay so enable explicit all my enumerations some constants and the only zeros that are oh, we have this one I forgot about it menu okay so so far we're gonna have only one menu but I'm still going to put it into an enumeration just to be consistent with the other guys so here I'm gonna call the enumeration menu item and here I'm gonna call the enumeration menu and I will call the constant within main and I will move that up over for example so we get the window the menu the menu item then the gadgets and even this one I can put it you have to organize your code so everything makes sense and here you can reuse the menu WMW for main window main okay here it's a little bit cleaner well much cleaner actually because we don't have numbers running everywhere 
open, quit, still works, like a charm. All right, now, what else can we do? I'm not very fond of this way of doing this, so we can find another way to bind the event. And it's a quick one. Just look, we have uh, the open image, on menu, okay. So here, for example, for the quit, we are relying on this here or on this piece of code. So to close the window, to terminate the application, we have two ways. Either on, in this uh, function, in this procedure, when from the menu or from the event here. So we want to make this uh, the same. What we are going to do is create another procedure, just called quit. And in the quit procedure, I will do if message requester are you sure you want to quit and with a flag so here I can add a flag pb message requester yes no And if this equals pb message requester yes, then what do I do? I end the code. And if here we are, and then instead of ending it here, I can call quit. Okay. And instead of relying on this event here, what I can do is I can loop forever by doing so, colon, okay, so uh, I will cut this and here say forever, no, ever, yes. So I will repeat this loop forever, wait window event. Every time there is an event, it will repeat the loop. But the actual event handling will be done with a new bind event. Bind event. And here it's what I... So for the event close window, I will bind it to quit. And that's it. Let's check. Run, control Q. Are you sure you want to quit? No. Cross, no. File, quit, no. Last try here, no. Even Alt F4, no. See, you have many ways to terminate the application and all of them go through the same code. Yes, I'm sure. And last is commence comments so what I want to do is comment to give some information then I can copy paste just this part to have the same length okay open image okay Right. And finally, this code here is, is, is basically the main function, just the main in C language. So we can say main. That is it. Voila, the code is clean. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I will see you in the next video.